Hi everybody, uh, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, different types of fertilizer injectors that you can use in the garden. Depending on your size of the garden and how intensive you want to be and how accurate, we have three choices for you. Um, definitely we are working with fertilizer injectors, not side dressing, which was another video we presented or using granular fertilizer that you apply on the soil you know like they tell you ounces per 100 square feet or ounces per linear foot no today we are talking about uh, a fertilizer injector which means we are working with uh, liquid or dry fertilizer that are water soluble and you mix a concentrated solution and you fill the tank and you forget it because it's gonna take a week or two weeks for that tank to empty depending on how much you use and how big the garden is. The, the simplest one is this Venturi type uh, injector. Basically what works uh, uh, on the principle of uh, Venturi uh, uh, flow meaning as the water is flowing and it's constricted at this point it creates a vacuum and that vacuum sucks in the solution uh, from the end of this tube okay so well, this is about twenty dollars and it tells you the minimum requirement for it to work you need minimum three and a half psi which is not a problem a home owner a home or the house faucet that you have is about uh, 40 psi so that's not a problem but also you need minimum of five gallon per minute water flow so not only the pressure but the flow and that's easy to do um, uh, fill a five gallon bucket and see how long it should take you to fill it if it takes more than a minute to fill a five gallon bucket this will not work but at the 40 PSI and, and the typical, it should take you like 10 seconds or 20 seconds to fill that uh, five gallon bucket. So it should work, okay? So the arrow tells you on how you install it. So this end here is where the faucet goes in and this end here is where the garden hose goes in. And, uh, you, wanna fer and you prepare your five gallon bucket with the fertilizer concentration. You drop this in it well, if you want to fertilize and you take it out of the bucket if you don't want to fertilize if you just want to irrigate so you don't have to remove this permanently each time you want to fertilize or not fertilize just remove this hose end um, from the bucket if you don't want to fertilize and you see it has a little bit of uh, you know primitive type of uh, filter so it doesn't suck in any big solids great tool for the homeowner very easy to work and even this one has a small filter uh, I definitely uh, suggest that you uh, consider do doing that okay so um, okay so that is one great option the cheapest option you have at $20 okay the second step up is this type of uh, automatic fertilization system the brand name is Easy Grow. You can find it uh, on Amazon, but if you go to a, um, a store that sells landscaping uh, or supplies, they will have that. Uh, it comes in a three quarter gallon, it comes in five gallon, it comes in 20 gallon. Same idea, same idea uh, as, um, you know, the all type of fertilizer injector is that uh, and uh, the flow is also directed tells you where's the flow gonna go in and out so so when you zoom into this one here water in fertilizer out so the black tube is the water in so this black tube is on the side of the water in meaning this side is where the faucet you attach it to the faucet and 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 even if you forget that remember that the clear hose is the fertilizer end because because you want to see the fertilizer moving so anyway if you don't remember uh, it'll show you here 
uh, fertilizer out. So water in, the black tube water in, meaning this is where it goes on the faucet of your house. And this is where the fertilizer solution comes out, where you put your hose or your drip irrigation system uh, to fertilize your garden. Okay, uh, this uh, is better to use the formula that I'm gonna show you. Uh, this way you say, I want to use 200 parts per million. So the formula tells you how many fluid ounces or grams you add here and you dissolve, you mix well, you dissolve, and then you use it until it runs out. I've used it in the past. It will take me, if I water it three times a week, it will take me three weeks uh, to empty this tank. And you can tell that instead of the solution coming out, you see the hose filled with blue water, it start being uh, clear, meaning it's, it's gone. It sucked up all the fertilizer and all you're using is just water. So that's a great indicator that uh, you run out of fertilizer. Just look at the color of the solution in the tube when you are irrigating or fertilizing. Okay, so this is easy grow. This is the next step up. This is about $75 for the size, uh, but uh, it's a fa a foolproof. Even if you have, uh, don't meet the requirement of this flow or this minimum pressure, this will always work. That's the beauty of it. If you have a big size garden, I recommend you invest, spend $100, $150 to get the five gallon size or a three gallon size. This way with a timer, with a, you know, irrigation timer and all this, this way you can travel for weeks at a time and you know that every time you're watering, you are fertilizing at the same time. Great toy to have, highly recommended. It takes out the guessing of how much fertilizer to add. 200 parts per million is a good number to work with on almost all the vegetables you're fertilizing, except beans and peas. Those are light feeders, they make their own food. So uh, switch to 100 parts per million if you wanna use this exclusively for your beans and peas. Low, lower concentration. The third one is uh, more expensive. So this is more on the commercial grade. It's called, uh, one brand name is Dosotron, but look up fertilizer injector online and you may find different uh, brands that are a lot cheaper. This is about 375, what we recommend to use by any commercial operation because uh, it's fail proof full yeah fail proof it can go from anywhere from 0 0.2 to 2 percent concentration right now we have it at 1 percent or 1 to 100 dilution meaning that this stock tank right here below this stock tank is a hundred times concentrated because this dilutes it a hundred times and what goes out is the desired concentration. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by the math. And again, it's unidirectional. So you see the arrow here telling you that the water in and water out. So uh, always good idea uh, in case you have a well or using water from a pond or lake, always good idea to have a filter and the water goes in and uh, uh, this is uh, the stock uh, the hose going into the stock solution and it has a filter at the bottom and this is the water out and when it's running you hear it click clicking click 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 and the when you read the instructions it will tell you um, um, what uh, how many clicks per minute uh, tells you that it's really working or not Great uh, tool, this is about uh, $375, but like I said, there's different models, different brand names uh, available online uh, to choose from. So let's go back to this ta table here and show you the math. This formula, you need to memorize it or take a picture of it, write it down and use it. So how much uh, I need uh, in ounces per gallon to get the desired uh, parts per million 
and depending on the fertilizer that I'm using. The F is the dilution factor. If you are not using a fertilizer injector, you can ignore this number. Here's your formula. But if you're gonna use any of these three fertilizer injectors, then you have to add that DF. So, I wanna use 200 parts per million, and my dilution factor is 100, one to 100, and I'll show that to you again on the dosatron. 75 is a constant number, so all, that's always there. And then 10 is the percent N. So we are using a fertilizer that's 10 for three, so that's 10 for nitrogen. If you're using triple 16, it will be 16. If you're using triple 13, it will be, you will use 13. If you're using greenhouse grade 20, 20, 20, this will be 20, okay? So it's, remember, it's the whole number, not 0 0.1, 10% N, you put 10 here, not 0 0.1. Otherwise, the numbers will be off. So 200 parts per million times one to 100 dilution, 75 is a constant, and I'm using a fertilizer that's 10% uh, nitrogen. That tells me that I need 26.7 ounces per gallon in here. This is about three quarter of a gallon, so you adjust that to three quarter of a gallon. Let's go back to here. This bucket is five gallon bucket, but we fill it to four gallons. Then we use 26.7 times four, this is how much we put here, 26.7 times 4 ounces in the 4 gallons. But remember, this is 100 times more concentrated. You cannot take fertilizer directly from the stock tank and fertilize mint or anything in the, or the ginger I have here. That's 100 times more concentrated. You will kill your plants. So you, it has to go, that stock tank has to go through the fertilizer injector. You don't want to use that fertilizer injector, then you go back to here, to this formula, you ignore this number, then it is 0 0.27, 0 0.267 ounces per gallon, because this number divided by 100. So hey, a quarter of an ounce per gallon, and you can fertilize all day long with that. Okay? So, um, this is a... Um, greenhouse grade uh, you know four gallon tank that i have uh, professional so you know it's uh, water soluble it tells you 10 for three that's why i use the number 10 in the formula because that's percent n and the beauty of it of this uh, fertilizer grade is that when you zoom in it tells you, it, it saves you uh, the f calculations. It tells you, here's the injector ratio that you can use here. And here is the desired parts per million that you want to use. And 1 to 100, 200 parts per million, it tells you 21.3. My math is 26.7. Uh, the difference is, is that, go back here, is that this formula is for dry formulation. This is a liquid uh, fertilizer so the density of the fertilizer made a difference that's why instead of 26.7 is 21.3 so this formula is for dry uh, formulation of fertilizer but they must be water soluble if you buy a liquid fertilizer it will tell you how much you need to mix but you know 21 versus 26 that's uh, I don't know about 10 percent difference so if you are 200 or 220 parts per million, it's not gonna kill your plants. You give them just extra. So you wanna use this formula with uh, something like that, you're five to 10% off. This is a close up of the label of miracle Grow tomato fertilizer. It's called, uh, I guess, um, and what it tells you is mix one and a half tablespoon per one and a half gallons of water. Okay, so one to one. One tablespoon per one gallon of water if you want to use the watering can. You can use this in any of these fertilizers, injectors. Remember, this is 20. So if you want to use that, if you want to use this Venturi type fertilizer injector and it's a 20X, 
So instead of a one tablespoon per gallon, you put 20 tablespoons per gallon because this dilutes it 20 times. Same thing here. The dosatron is one to 100. So you put 100 tablespoon per gallon and that will dilute it to where you want it to be. Of course, hopefully the 100 tablespoon will dissolve. If you mix it and you see settling that it's too concentrated, then you may have to go to a lower uh, dilution factor. This is the best way, back to me. This is the best way to fertilize better than, um, uh, better than trying to guess and feed and fertilize every three weeks like some of our publications or the information you find online. So with a timer like this, that you can give it a schedule, daily schedule, and how many times per day, and a fertilizer injector like any of these three, you can travel, you can forget about fer fertilizing and watering, you can concentrate on uh, taking care of insect and diseases and harvesting and thinning and all this so Like looking at these tomatoes. These are being fertilized uh, by uh, the, On the same principle The difference is is that we are not using a fertilizer injector. We did the math to figure out how much we need uh, in uh, ounces per gallon and this is a 95 gallon tank so we did mixed it, the solution, we just mixed it here. Uh, and now every time the timer kicks in and the plants are being fertilized, they are getting 200 parts per million solution. Uh, you've seen the system. This is the Dutch bucket open type system. You see beautiful tomatoes, but that's another video. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.